it's Joy. Welcome back to my channel. I've got a really quick card to share with you today. I made this for my husband as I am leaving to go out of town and just wanted to leave a back a card for him that said, I love you. So I broke out my Scrappy Tails products and got started. So I did all of my die cutting off screen, but I used the, the dessert cookie macaroon and donut die set that came out earlier this year. And I die cut the solid base in a dark brown and then the top part of it, uh, of the cookie with uh, craft. That way the chocolate chips would be shining through. And I did that with both the solid cookie and the one that had a bite taken out of it. I love that Sabrina gave us uh, two different versions of the cookie to create this uh, cute car. So I wanted to deepen the edges because if you're like me, when you bake cookies, you tend to burn them or overcook them at least sometimes. So I brought in my Vintage Photo Distress Oxide ink and just blended kind of sloppily around the edges to give that cooked, picked on goodness. And then while I had the Vintage Photo out, I stamped the we are a batch made in heaven stamp uh, from the Sweet Treats stamp set. This is a six by eight uh, stamp set that's got a ton of sweet images and cakes and pops, but I just used the um, sentiment from that. And like I said, I stamped that with the Distress Oxide vintage photo um, towards the top center of my card. I did trim my base down to measure three and three quarters by five uh, just so that I had the ability to mat it onto my A2 card base. So now you're, you're seeing me kind of play with the arrangement to see how I want that to go. And the reason I did that was because I wanted to know where to blend the uh, worn lipstick Distress Oxide. And I just blended that on again with a quick, dirty blend. And when I say dirty, I mean not smooth. Um, I just wanted to get some color down um, because the majority of the color was going to be hidden by the cookies, right? So I just wanted to give it a halo. And the reason I used pink was um, it's one of my favorite colors and I love it paired with brown. So between the brown of the cookies and the pink, it kind of married my husband and I together with feminine versus masculine, right? But you of course could choose any colors that fit you and whoever you're making the card for. So I did glue the uh, card bases first. So I matted the focal panel onto the same dark brown cardstock uh, just to give a nice border. I measured that one to be four by five and a quarter and then I, I used some double-sided um, adhesive fun foam and I mounted it on that because I like dimension on my cards. Um, and as always, I added glue to the um, to the back side of that because I need a little bit of wiggle room in case I don't put down my um, layer straight. If um, if you don't struggle with that like I do, then by all means you can leave that step out. But um, I always do that. I've been doing that since the first day I started making cards um, and I've never stopped, you know. So maybe it's more out of habit than it is anything else at this point. And then I did apply that to an A2 side folding uh, card base and then there I bring in the cookies. So I glued down the whole cookie uh, kind of in the bottom left hand corner and I left it hanging off the edge just a slight bit in some of the areas, but I left the pink in the corner just so um, you got that. And now I realized that I probably didn't put down enough of a pink halo, so I'm just using the ink that is left over on my blending brush to add some more color to the panel. Um, again, I wasn't worried about how smooth the blend was because most of it is going to be covered up. Then on this last cookie with the bites taken out, um, 
I added Feb squares and popped that up. Now, what I love about Sabrina, she thinks about all the details. And with this cookie that has been um, bitten, she added a, a die with some crumbs. So what you're going to see me do is take some of the uh, crumbs and even, they might be even part of the chips that, are, that popped out. But there are some crumbs and then I added some um, in addition to what comes with their made with the chips. So I just put down several dots of glue and then using my uh, crafter's wand, I pick up um, the crumbs. Now the crumbs are from the craft cardstock. I didn't bother blending those because they are so teeny tiny. It would be not even worth the time and effort that it took. So that's kind of what I'm doing. There's no rhyme or reason as far as the shape goes. I just wanted a lot of crumbs. My husband always jokes that when I eat a cookie or especially a granola bar that I have crumbs everywhere. It drives him nuts. So I made sure to put extra crumbs on this page. Hopefully that was a little dig at him but maybe it'll make him laugh too, who knows. I'm sorry that my head is in the way, um, but that happens sometimes, you know, especially when you're grabbing stuff that are that's a little bit off screen. Anyway, uh, if you have stuck with me this far, I just wanna say thank you. I appreciate um, all of your love and support, and I would love it if you would leave me a comment, maybe like, consider subscribing to my channel, or hitting that notification bell so that uh, you're notified when I put up another video. I am heading out of town for about a week. Um, I might put some lives up because I'm going to be teaching at the Nashville Craft Retreat. Um, so if I don't put any lives up, I will be posting to my Instagram pictures of all the stuff that's going on. So to finish off my card, I am using some diamond stickles and I am putting that over the chocolate chips. And I chose the diamond because it has a lot of holographic specks in it, but it dries clear. So right now it looks kind of cloudy, but you'll notice in the pictures, all you're gonna get is the illusion of all of the sparkle from the glitter, but none of the cloudiness, right? And then finally to embellish my card, um, I come in with some flat backed sequins just from my stash in a pink and again I just chose the pink because it's one of my favorite colors. I kept it simple because my husband prefers simple. Like I said he doesn't like crumbs so he's not going to like a lot of sequins either, right? So this was definitely tailored um, around the recipient and not by the maker. That is for sure. Um, again, thank you for watching. You're going to see the last few views of my card. And um, until next time, keep crafting. I will see you for sure on the channel within the next week. Um, be blessed, my friends. Have a good one. Bye-bye.